your domain you click on go back or you click on home actually click on home okay now we're gonna install WordPress and, and this is one of the main reasons why I choose HostGator because WordPress with HostGator is a one click install okay you don't have to go editing any code or anything like that any confusing stuff that that's really hindering a lot of people that don't have HostGator because uh you know they have to edit code and all that and, and, and all kind of crazy stuff to get WordPress set up but we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get WordPress set up with HostGator with one click install all right one click your website is gonna be online all right so what you do is you uh you scroll down once you get back into this section of your uh, hosting account go all the way down and then you're gonna see a little a little blue smiley face okay it's gonna be under the tab software and services which is two tabs under domain alright so you're gonna see a little blue smiley face and it's gonna say fantastico deluxe alright what you wanna do is click on fantastico deluxe click on that little blue smiley face it brings a lot of happiness alright after that you wanna go um, scroll down and you want to click on WordPress alright All right. and just a little quick look on the side this blue smiley face it allows you to install a whole lot of stuff on your website like with just one click okay you can add a classified section to your site uh, I also seen a forum section on here you can add a forum uh, section to your site image galleries all kind of stuff alright all kind of stuff but we're going to be using it to install WordPress. So you want to make sure you look right here. It's going to be on the blogs. And you click on WordPress. All right. So after you click on WordPress, you're going to see it populate over here to the right side. It's going to say WordPress to the top. A short description. WordPress is the blogging software with the focus on ease of use, elegance, performance, and standards with a huge selection of themes and plugins. Okay. So, uh... You want to click on new installation all right new installation is what you want to click on you want to find your domain that you just added to your site see i have the unlimited domain account with hostgator so i can add unlimited domains to my account you see all these different sites i got but uh what you want to do is you want to find the one you just added and, and in my in my case that was dot com money dot info if you have the hatchet account, you're gonna only have one domain right there, so you know nothing confusing about this part. All right, so you find the domain that you're gonna be installing WordPress on. Installing directory, you leave that blank. Uh, admin access data. Okay, so this is where you set up the username and password for your website. All right, so my username is gonna be uh, in this instance admin. My password will be password alright so after that you want to set in your admin nickname okay so whatever whenever somebody places a comment on your site you reply to the comment your nickname is gonna show alright so my nickname is gonna be I just put my my real name Marvin okay so admin email address alright in this section you want to add the email that you're gonna be receiving replies to from your domain so for instance whenever somebody leaves a comment on your site you'll get an email from wordpress saying you know you have a new comment uh whenever anybody submits any form on your site it's going to come to the email that you're going to use here okay so uh after that you want to go down to site name you want to put your site name here mine is dot com money dot info all right after that, you want to put your description. Okay, so for my site, it's going to be all about how to make money online. All right, so after that, you click install WordPress. Okay, it's going to bring you to the page here, and you just click finish installation. All right, now we have installed WordPress on our website. We have basically put our website up online that fast, you know. And, and uh, that's really sweet, you guys. You know, in the way you see the site, it's gonna say uh, 
it's gonna offer you a link here to click on. All right, so uh, it says you need a username and password to enter the admin area. Your username is admin. Your password is password. All right. Uh, the full URL to the admin area is here. Okay, so this is the link uh, to access the back part section of your website. All right, and another thing you can do, you can actually uh, email the details of this installation to yourself. All right, so if you put your email address in here and you hit send, it's going to send you an email of your username, your password, and the link to your site. <clears throat> All right, I'm not going to do that because I don't need this right here in front of me. I'm just going to. Uh, click on this link open up the back section of my site and you got to come to a page that looks like this all right you're going to put in your username you're going to put in your password all right and you're going to hit log in it's just as simple as that it's just, it's just as simple as that people okay so Okay, all right. Uh, to to view your domain. Okay, so now you're in the back section of your website. All right. So uh, if you click here, I like to hold down the control key and you click sort of open up in another window. All right. So okay, so if you look, you see I have this domain pointing to my Facebook fan page, but uh. I'm gonna fix that right now so I can show you what the actual site's gonna look like. Alright, and about this, this 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 link is redirecting to my Facebook fan page, alright? And uh, I'll show you how to set up a redirect later on. If you would like to redirect your domain to another page, but it's real simple, you know, you go to redirect and uh, find a domain you want to redirect, put it in and you put the page that you want your domain to redirect to so in this instance I had uh, chose my domain here and I went to Facebook and got a link to my fan page and I put that link there and I hit add and then every time somebody typed that link dot com money that info it was going to my Facebook fan page because I wasn't using the link I just actually set it up to point to my Facebook fan page but now I'm gonna disconnect that um, that redirect I'm gonna remove that that way I can show you what my new website looked like that I've just installed with WordPress alright so that quick I've removed the redirect so the domain should be free now and it's not redirecting anywhere so I'm gonna go back here hold down the control key click dot com money dot info okay it may take a while Yeah, it's going to take a while uh, for the redirect to go away. But what's going to happen is we're going to click here and it's going to open up my site. And then it's going to show you what the site looks like. All right, so uh, it's going to hold off a sec until until my domain is not redirected anymore. Then I'm going to come back to this part of the video and we're going to continue from here. All right, so you guys stay tuned. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold down that control key again and click on that domain, open it up in a new window, and boom, you'll see here this is my new site. Okay, so just that quick, just that fast, you've gotten your very own website up and online. It don't look like too much of nothing right now, but we're gonna fix that right now. Okay. So uh, what you want to do now is you want to find a nice theme for your website. What kind of theme are you going to use you know, for your site? Do you already have a theme in mind? Or you know, if not, what you can do is uh, you go to Appearance, click on Appearance in that back office section of your website. All right, then you want to click on Install Themes. All right, so you want to search for a theme here, okay? So, um, and uh, I get my themes. The majority of my themes that I use are on this site called 